All right, whatever. Pay the pay the doubters. Pay the doubters. Pay the goddamn doubters right here. Uh, Boo woke up at 3 a.m. to play Elden Ring for a day. Oh, you woke up at 3 a.m. to play Elden Ring? I, I don't have a code. I want to play Elden Ring. You can't stream it, though, right? It's a closed, like, can't stream it beta. What kind of game starts with you going left, by the way? You're not supposed to stream it? No YouTube videos? I'm just gonna stream my face. Well, here's my facial reactions to me playing Elden Ring. XQC streamed it all night. Well, you know, I don't know if you've ever played No Pixel with him, but the rules aren't the same for him. So he called me a snake on his stream for no reason. I was just like, geez, man. XQC, XQC knows he's too, he's big enough to get away with everything. I think he uses suspensions as vacations, which I don't blame him, you know what I mean? It's like a great way to do it. Like, oh, I need to go away for five days. I'm just going to do something that's kind of, you know, just line, habitually line step and then get a five day vacation. And then people will, you know, be mad at the system for me. It's kind of genius, honestly. Like when I got, when I got suspended and I came back after three days, um, you know, I sub went, my sub count went higher. I get it. I get it. Fuck the man, right? Yeah. Honestly, it's a great plan. It's not the worst. No such thing as bad publicity. I would disagree with that statement. Um, I do think that exists, but I do think there's a market for bad publicity. Does that make sense? But there is such thing as just like having your name out there so much that people check you out to see what everyone's talking about. You know what I mean? And then people being like, well, this isn't bad. I like this. Yeah. Blizzard would like a word. Papa John would like a word. Yo, man, he eats 30, 35 pizzas a month now, though. A dude showed up on my TikTok, and he's just, like, sweating. And I'm like, first of all, why do you have a TikTok, Papa John? Secondly, secondly... I think Papa John's an alcoholic because he's got, listen, have you guys ever seen like the number one thing I look for when I think someone's drinking too much is red face. Your face gets like red all the time. Yeah. You know? Hungry Howie's has the best, best breadsticks. I like Hungry Howie's, but I'm a Michigander, so. I didn't want to go too high too fast. Cause I can't, I mean, you, you can go too fast, but you can't go too slow there, essentially. Maybe Papa John's practiced karate in his garage. Honestly, one thing I would have done, but I'm an evil dickhead, is I would have made only one of those pipes work and the other four would have killed you. But I'm a dickhead. The best pizza chain? The best cheap pizza is Domino's. We had this. We had this the other day. We, we had this discussion. 
You thought I hated pick a pipe? Well, you just put an arrow to the right pipe and you make all the other pipes the wrong pipe. Yeah, and then it's not pick a pipe. Congrats on the 5,000. I know, I feel, I feel whole again, honestly. Caesars. I like Little Caesars like at a baseball stadium. The Little Caesars is not good. It is hot and ready though. And I'm saying this as someone that like, I grew up on Little Caesars pizza in Michigan and I loved it. But it is... I love it when kids are older. I mean, I love Domino's, man. Domino's is as cheap as hell too to go pick up. Only difference between Domino's and Little Caesars really is like a dollar fifty, uh, like two points in quality, and I gotta call Domino's to let him know I'm coming to get it. Whereas Little Caesars is just there ready. Yeah. Well, cause like pizza can only get so cheap. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think Little Caesars can go any cheaper than they are. Same with Domino's pickup. Like, I don't think it's going any cheaper. I actually don't dislike CC's. Uh, but I have a soft spot for all buffets. I'm ashamed to admit. Yeah. Even Chinese buffets, all buffets. I have a soft spot for literally all of them. Hometown, Chinese, doesn't matter. Dang it, I was... Okay. Okay. Sure. Keep trying to gain peace speed right here. Maybe I can get this. Have I ever been to John's Incredible? What's John's Incredible Pizza? I've not been to John's Incredible Pizza. Breakfast buffets are actually hit or miss for me. Because breakfast buffets sometimes just have cold eggs. And I hate that. But I, one thing I do love about breakfast buffets, like I really, really love, is I can get ham, sausage, bacon. Like I can get all the meat and all the hash browns I want. But yeah, cold eggs is like a... the one thing I dislike. And a lot of breakfast buffets are rough too. They're either cold eggs or they're like weirdly overcooked eggs, you know what I mean? But I have been to some breakfast buffets that like will make it for you, make your eggs for you right there. Uh, Thank you for the 350 and the marbles, marbles, marbles. Mar why, are, why is my text-to-speech bot not marbling? Text speech bots being a hater, chat. Uh, 10, 10, I'm assuming Dark Orders 10 tipped 350 and said marbles, 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 just for the record. Um, I'm sorry they did not get there full payment worth of marbles. Uh, Bastel, thank you for 21 months. Fuck me in the dick. What is biscuits and gravy? 
Um, biscuits and gravy is when you have a biscuit, right? Like a roll, or like a breakfast roll, so it's like a little bit harder, I'd say. Like a harder top. And then you have gravy. Yeah, that's it. There's nothing else to that. Yeah, that's that. Generally sausage gravy? Yeah, if the place isn't fucking garbage. Uh, Nagumi, thank you for the $10 donation. That's supposed to be $10 for me, Nagumi. Not 350 from 10. Ah, oh, well. Marbles, 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 marbles. Nagumi, I hope everything's going good. People in Europe have no concept of biscuits and gravy. I mean, have you ever had bangers and mash? Chicken and waffles is dank, and everyone should chicken and waffle. Chicken and waffle is probably the most underrated food, in my opinion, just in general. I like how he prevents you from getting P-Speed on that section. Make everything line up. Um, but breakfast burritos, though? I mean, breakfast burritos are great, but I'm, I mean, I'll admit that... <sighs> okay, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it. I think breakfast burritos are slightly overrated, chat. Sorry. Shame me now. Shame me now. Your voice is so much velvetier than the TTS bot. Is velvetier a word? I mean, your voice reminds me of velvet, or maybe leather. I don't think breakfast burritos are bad. Have I ever had breakfast pizza? Yes. I'm just a huge breakfast nut. I like breakfast. I think breakfast is not just the most important meal of the day, chat. But also the tastiest. Brinner is a is a very consistent thing in this home. You just don't think I've had the right breakfast burrito? Bra, come on. I live in California. I've had great breakfast burritos. Pancakes or waffles? Waffles are better than pancakes in every way. They got a little bit of, you know, maybe just like a slight crunch to them. You know, a little bit of texture. They hold the syrup inside the little thingies. Love here. Listen, if you prefer wa if you prefer pancakes, that's fine. I don't care. More waffles for me. Or French toast? Whoa, 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 whoa. You know, now you're adding in something else that I don't know if I'm ready for. Waffles are easier to make at home. I mean, if you have a waffle maker. So pretty much if you've gotten married, they're easier to make. The best part about getting married is the presence of stuff that you would never buy on your own. The waffle maker. Ever have spelt waffles? What's a spelt waffle? Come on. I don't know what that is.
if I died right there? Dude, I'd love to. She told me that it was one of the best meals she's had. Alrighty. Alrighty, Yoshi. Hey. Hey, we didn't die in that level. Did we? A hay what's a Haywood waffle? I feel like you guys are just putting words in front of waffle and asking me if I've ever had it. Straight up. Uh duct tape engineer, thank you for three months. Uh, it's very, very good. Yeah, it's very, very, very good. Hey, would this dick fit in your mouth? Wow. Wow. I walked right into that one. Got him. Yeah, I mean, I can't. I mean, I'm not even going to lie. You, you got me on that one. I can't believe I let that happen. I mean, I'm, I'm a pro streamer. That's literally my job is to make dick jokes and just hit me with it. That was great. Can't even be mad. That one was good. It was solid. I didn't know you could punch the things like that. That's just something I had no idea you could do. Or this. I had no idea you could do this. Uh, if Jack was a horse and stuck on it, would I help him off? I feel like now you're just trying to get me into saying jerk off jokes? Like, do better. Do better. What kind of chair do I have? Exclamation point razor. You can check out the chair. The razor Enki. Um, you should get it. Yeah, you should buy it. It's very nice. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that name right. But if y'all buy a lot of the chairs, <laughs> y'all buy a lot of the chairs, Razor might give me more money to sell you guys more products, okay? Think about it. Do it for me, do it for Lady Pooh. Uh, Lady Pooh's got like the least expensive taste in the world, honestly. It's like I don't, I don't buy anything, but when I do, I it, I feel like what I buy is relatively expensive. Whereas I feel like she buys, she she buys stuff pretty consistently, but like it adds up to like fucking nothing. Cause like Lady Pooh likes nice stuff. But only if she can get it as a deal. If she doesn't want a nice purse that costs nice purse prices. She wants a nice purse that she found at Ross, you know, for next to nothing. Yeah. Like that's what that's what it's she doesn't want she doesn't want a thousand dollar purse. She wants a thousand dollar purse she got for forty bucks. You know what I mean? Minor boy, thank you for 72 months. 
If like that's the only way she'd rock it that she wouldn't rock it if she paid a thousand you know duct tape engineer thank you for three months mess up Fido, thank you for 24 months have you ever walked into a store where anything everything is on sale and nothing is on sale whoa yeah she's about that life yeah is that around we're both frugal yeah we're both pretty freaking frugal i'd say Treasure hunting, yes. <gasps> no. Didn't jump off it. Five seven two, thank you for thirty months. It's spelled wrong. Thank you for that gift sub. Sucker. Um, I would not like the death spiral. I don't know. I don't, like, there's just not a lot of, I don't, there's not a lot of stuff that I like. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not like a stuff guy. Mmm. Lame, I lost time. Kicking Shell Koopas not being a Mario Maker 2 is a travesty. Yeah, but there's other ways to kick shells in Mario Maker 2, so it's not as big a deal. Uh I don't know what the current is. I like getting B stuff, but like even B, like we don't have it. He doesn't have a ton of toys. Like all his friends have way more toys than he does. And we never have them all out at one time. We rotate. Yeah, we rotate. Um, toys constantly. Which is a good thing, because then he like gets real hyped about them, you know? Oh my god, I didn't think I made it. Oh, I didn't go up. Uh, Fez was the game we were talking about. The creator didn't get cancelled, he just couldn't handle any sort of... He had, he had kind of a very public mental breakdown, I would say, online. He was, he was always struggling, though. I would say. Has gave you motion sickness, really? Yeah, the sequel was like close to done, man. The sequel, I think, had a release date and he canceled it. I, I hope, yeah, I hope um, we get the sequel one day. I can't do VR for that long. The free, I can't do free roam VR at all. Your two kids are spoiled rotten. You know what? Good. You know what? Here's the thing. I don't think it. I don't think it matters how spoiled your kids are, as long as they're broke in college, they'll figure it out. Does that make sense? As long as they go through eighteen to twenty-five, just broke as fuck. Well, they'll, 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 yeah, they, they they'll lose their douchiness. Because you don't really know. Like I think every kid's spoiled. No matter what they have as a kid, because you don't really know, you know what I mean? You're just like, this is what I got, it's fucking awesome. Yeah.
Yeah, or as long as they don't act like it in public. I mean, but that's the goal, right? You want to give your kids things, because it's fun watching your kid play with stuff. It's his. We don't do it for them, we do it for us. Dude, I can't do the- I can't do free roam. I- I need to do the little, like, steps that you take in VR when I do it. I wouldn't say I'm a huge fan of VR in general. Um, but I do think there's some crazy experiences that you can only have in VR. Like, I do really love Beat Saber. I think Beat Saber's fucking awesome. Yeah, Beat Saber's just tons of fun. Crazy how you don't despawn this vine at all. Subnautica VR is hella creepy. James Facebook owns VC. You mean Meta? Uh, money. Thank you so much. If I had the time, Beat Saber would be daily cardio. If it was like always set up for me, I wouldn't be mad at that. Uh, can I just all say that um, I paid homage to the great Cape Master Barb with the split name because he's a great Cape Master. And I would never disrespect his cape skills. Uh, yeah, RE7, you know, I always, I was holding out to play RE7 in VR for the longest time, and I just never got around to it. It's only PlayStation VR, right? I sold my PlayStation VR. section. Weird section. I don't think it's out on other platforms is the, is the problem. Playing the opening scene of Skyrim in VR. Skyrim feels like it'd probably be pretty fun in VR. Got a little lucky on that, but hey, hey, hey. brightly colored controller. I just love controllers. Like that's something that I would, I would consider myself a controller collector.
Oh, okay, we made it. Made that jump. You destroyed probably 15 Wiimotes. Can't say that I ever broke a Wiimote. Never put it through a TV, thankfully. You got some Ouya controllers? I got an Ouya. I just, I don't know, I just don't see, I just don't see myself ever wanting to play VR games exclusively. AR games, maybe, but I just can't ever see VR being my main source of gaming. You know what I mean? It just feels like there's too much going on in the world. To be that weirdly disconnected from it. I don't know, that sounds that's gonna sound weird, but like I don't know, like you're like disconnected from the fucking world, you know? Like you're literally in a little VR land. Is the point, I know, but it's just I don't know. Intense. Yeah. What makes my favorite classic Super Nintendo controller? Uh, Nintendo. Yeah. 8 bit dough, and I mean this with all due respect to everyone who owns an 8 bit dough. I know people get really defensive over their 8 bit doughs, but legit, 8 bit doughs are the worst controllers around. They're great for about two months of hardcore gaming and then they break down. I, 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 I know, I know people love them. I know people love them, yes. Um, I like the Power A Elites more. I don't like all Power A stuff, but Power A does have some stuff that I think is pretty good. Um... I mean, what's a what's the 8-bit do alternative? Uh, anything official from Nintendo, I would like better. Uh, well, I mean, right off the bat, the e-swap's better. Uh, do a what's the worst Nintendo controller? The Virtual Boy controller was garbage. Made no sense. Joy-Con's trash? I don't like the Joy-Con's that bad. Joy-Con's better than the Wiimote was. I think the Joy-Con's pretty versatile, too. I don't like the Joy-Con, honestly. I wish the Joy-Con had bigger buttons. Switch XL, hello! Like, it's weird. The Joy-Con in handheld mode doesn't feel that bad, but the Joy-Con... Like when you pull the pull them off the grips, like it's utterly horrible, in my opinion. Yeah. Need baby hands. Hands like a baby. The little safety thing. What's the little safety thing? I have a U-Force, I've never used it. I should be, I gotta beat Mario through with the U-Force. I could save a little time right there. There, chat. Well, that's that's a pretty good time. That's a that's a pretty good time right there. That's a pretty good time. But pretty solid. 
That's a good world record right there. That was a good fucking world record. Whew. I didn't realize we were we were doing that much, yeah. Ooh. That was good. We cruised, man. <laughs> yeah, five and a half minutes off the off the world record. <laughs> M. Guerrera, thank you for the 10 gift subs. I think this could be sub 30? I don't know, maybe, yeah, probably. Really close. That was fucking really good, though. Uh, the board should be up next day or two, I'd imagine. Even my cat hates me. I feel pretty confident in saying that's definitely world record right now, though. Yeah, I feel pretty confident on that one. Whew. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, wasn't I 120 yesterday? Yeah, but that was yesterday. Listen, it's called getting good, baby. I do it all the time. <laughs> Feeling fucking good, man. Feeling fucking good. That just made me. That just made me stoked. 